I'm here once again at Robert T. Shields Field on the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University, home of the FDU Devils football team. Last year certainly was an improvement and the team looks to have an even more improvement going into the 2018-19 football season. It's certainly going to be an exciting one and one you definitely do not want to miss out. There's going to be a lot of points scored, there's going to be a lot of excitement and you definitely do not want to miss out on the FDU Devils football team in 2018. I'm here once again with the head football coach of Fairleigh Dickinson University, Brian Serace. Coach, thank you as always for coming in and taking the time to speak with me. Absolutely, Neil. We really appreciate you having uh, spending time with us. Absolutely. So, I'm sure, I'm sure that you are as always very excited to get the season started. If you could look at one thing out of every out of all the goals you've set for the team this year, what is the one thing you want your team to focus on going into the 2018 season? Well, our major goal is, you know, you want to play an extra game, whatever that may be. Uh, whether it's an NCAA tournament, the ECAC playoffs, our conference has an affiliation with an uh, extra game, bowl game, if you want to call it, mm -hmm. with the Centennial Conference. And that would be uh, at least achieving a 500 record or greater, and, and that would be an accomplishment for this team. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people could say that last season was somewhat of an improvement. I know people like to talk about, oh, you are your record, but I'm a little bit different. I think that there's always positives regardless of how the season goes. What were some of the positives you can say that came from last year? Last year? Oh, we, we had a ton of positives. We uh, set about 25 uh, NCAA school records. Um, uh, our uh, receiver, unfortunately, uh, Malik Presley, who just graduated, mm -hmm. who was a player of the year as a sophomore, I think would have had a chance to get it again, but he missed basically three games with a, uh, with a knee injury. Uh, we had our uh, defensive linebacker, Isaiah Turner, who's coming back for his senior year, uh, lead the, the conference in tackles and, and was I believe, fourth in the nation uh, in tackles last year. And, and just overall, we finished uh, playing our best football at the end of the year. Guys really uh, stuck together through some, uh, you know, tough injuries and, and uh, you know, ups and downs of, of a new season that we normally go through. Uh, but just to see them come through, th those were some of the positives that we really uh, hung our hat on. I'm here with Robert Planner, a defensive end for the FDU football team. Robert, thank you so much for coming on today. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thanks for yeah, no problem. Me. So my first question to you is, in your opinion, how do you think the teams look so far as you begin, you know, training camp, so to speak, to get ready for the upcoming season? I think we look pretty good. I mean, we got a bunch of seniors that are coming in. Um, obviously, me coming in as a transfer, I met them last year. Mm -hmm. I was welcomed in right away. We got some transfers coming in this year who right. are going to make a big difference. They came from uh, ASA, a JUCO in Brooklyn. So I think we're looking good. It's just a matter of taking leadership, you know, being one of the older guys now, being my last year. You just got to really, you know, take that leadership role and kind of, you know, mix in, get some chemistry with the guys who've been here for a little while. So, Absolutely. And so... Obviously, the main goal is for you guys to get into a bowl game and, and have that much success. But for you personally, what, what are some goals you're going to be looking forward to trying to achieve this upcoming season? Uh, I think this year, it's just a lot more about me um, taking my new role. I'm playing a little outside linebacker, walking right. around a lot more, getting in some space. So personally, I mean, lead the conference in sacks. That's a personal goal for me. That's that would be goal. huge for me. And then to get on one of the uh, the conference teams last year, you know, what didn't, wasn't fortunate enough to make it. We had some guys, you know, Isaiah Turner was on there. Right. Uh, so, you know, Rob Coyle was on there. So, you know, first, second, honorable mention, anything like that. Just you know, doing what I can to help the team, and you know, doing you know my playing my best position, you know, in order to help out. So, yeah. absolutely. Now, from just your defensive perspective, what are some of the expectations that you guys set for yourselves as players? I know obviously coaches set goals for you guys and set expectations, but from a player standpoint, what are some of the things you guys have talked about that you guys want to achieve this year, and what are the what are the biggest accomplishments you'd like to see once the season comes to an end? Uh, well, our three seniors, me, uh, Ryan Wilson, Isaiah Turner, we talk about this all the time. You know, we want to win every rep in uh, practice. You know, we want to translate that to the field, you know, the scrimmage that we have coming up. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we're winning. We're competing. You know, we don't want to give the offense anything. You know, we want to go off the field saying we won this day. We won this day, you know, because, you know, Pans and Jagger, they'll, they'll go, you know, they'll, they'll have their days. They'll have Absolutely. their days. They're pretty good. So, I mean, we want to make sure that we stay in their head. They get in ours. We're just competing every day. So it's just competition. That's the biggest goal for us, just staying competitive. So. No doubt, staying competitive is an important thing. Now, you as a leader, you know, talks about you know being. There's certain types of leaders, you know, vocal, quiet. What type of leader do you consider yourself, and what type of leader do you want 
your team to see every day, day in and day out? Well, coming as a transfer last year, I was a little more, I would say, quiet. I was kind of mm -hmm. just, you know, lead by example kind of thing. But this year, you know, I feel like a leader needs to be a little more vocal. So this year, I've been really stepping up. I mean, from the first team meeting, I stood up, talked about attention to detail, just made sure everybody was, you know, ready to go. You know, this is going to be, this is going to be a winning season for us. We're coming in and thinking that's our expectation. So, you know, as a leader, you got to be vocal. You got to get these guys going. You know, I'm the only senior defensive lineman, so every day I'm talking, I got stuff, you know. We watch film afterwards. We go after, watch, you know, bigger college football, see what they're doing, try to implement it with us. But mm -hmm. it's just vocal. Being as vocal as possible now is my is my goal, and I'm a little more comfortable with the team. People know me, stuff like that. So, yeah. Absolutely. Now, my last question to you, Robert, is this. August 31st, first game of the season, under the lights, TCNJ, your main rivals. How excited are you and the team to get ready to go this year? Very, very. I mean, we can't wait. August 31st is going to be big. Uh, you know, that's the set. Under the lights, you know, Friday night lights, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be big. We're ready just because last year we got them. So that's the plan again. You know, it's just it's, it's going to be a good game. The offense will get going. You know, we'll have our fun on defense. It should be fun. It's something to watch. Definitely something to watch. It's certainly something to watch. Well, Robert, thank you so much for coming out today. Good luck this season. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm here with Jagger Green, FDU Devil quarterback. Jagger, thank you so much for coming on again. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. So you had a very impressive season last year, and you really seemed to command the offense and had a lot of success. What do you take from last year that you can apply going into this season? Uh, just experience. Keep building on last year, staying in the film. Uh, you know, keep taking notes from Coach Robertson, staying in the film room with him, and just, you know, building from last year. Absolutely. And... My next question to you is that from a team aspect, other than obviously wanting to make a bowl game and have a really successful season, what are some of the other expectations and goals that your, the team itself has in mind this season? Uh, we just want to do something that an FDU Devil team has never done before. So in any way that we can accomplish that feat, uh, we're going to try our hardest, we're going to bust our tails, and we're going to get the job done this year. Getting the job done is very important. Now, my next question to you is, Looking at the offense, how do you think it's gone so far? You know, it's obviously still relatively early in training camp, and we're getting clo very close to the season. How do you think the offense has fared so far? Uh, we're doing well. We still got to clean up some small things, but that's normal in camp. Uh, we're trying to bring the young guys along, but they've been doing a great job. They've been flying around. I, I love the vibe that we have out mm -hmm. here. It's been really well, and, and I'm excited. Well, it's certainly something to be excited about. Now, as one of the leaders of this team, what do you, what do you want your team to remember you as from a leader aspect, you know, a, a vocal leader, a quiet leader who just, you know, does his talking on the field. What type of leader do you want to be remembered as from your teammates? I just want my teammates to feel comfortable, you know, always coming to me with anything that they have off the field, on the field. I want to make sure that they know they can always come to me and I'll always be there for them. I'll help them out any time of the day. That's awesome. Now, my last question to you, Jagger, is this. August 31st, under the, under the uh, lights here at FDU, yep. taking on TCNJ, first game of the season against your rival. Yep. How do you feel about it? Great, man. I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this since last year, man. Uh, I can't wait. I'm ready to hit the field with these guys. We've been working hard all summer. It's not stopping now, and we're ready to go. It's certainly going to be an exciting game. Well, Jagger, again, as always, thank you so much for coming on today. I appreciate it, and good luck this upcoming season. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. My next question is this. What is the most exciting thing that you look forward to at the beginning of every single season? What's what's the thing that really gets you excited? Uh, th that's a tremendous question because really every year is a different uh, team. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and really to see the new players that come in, whether they be freshmen or transfers, right. with the current returnees that you have mm -hmm. and kind of see them blend into a mold and really become a team because right now all the incoming players all have – uh, their thoughts of football, of what they've been around, whether right. it be at another college or high school, uh, you know, or, or any time that they played football. And now they have to adapt to the FDU football way. And that brotherhood that really interconnects them is really built during the preseason. And last year was the first time that we had equal footing of a preseason with everybody in our conference or who we played, even mm -hmm. non-conference, uh, coming in at the same time because we used to have a bye in week one. Right. Uh, which really pushed our preseason to be very short. And that brotherhood didn't really form as much until last year. So that's going to be exciting this year. I'm here with FDU football's defensive coordinator, Andrew Molson. Coach Molson, thank you so much for coming on today. Really appreciate it as always. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys' time. Yeah, no problem. Now, my first question to you is, how do you think the defense has looked so far as you begin, obviously, this little bit of training camp before the upcoming season? 
Good. Our kids are flying around. They're physical. Uh, they're having fun, most importantly, mm -hmm. uh, and they're getting better every single day. So, like, you know, I'm really excited with future holds with them. Absolutely. And getting better every day is the most important thing. And that leads me into my next question. What are some of the expectations or goals that you would like to see from your defensive team? Uh, we got to get better tackling. Uh, mm -hmm. Tackling is a big major component of our of our game. I think it's the single most important you know component of defense. So we got to be better tacklers this year, most importantly. Absolutely, and you have a, a lot of depth on this team. You have a lot of young talent. And what's going to be the the biggest thing with you know several young players? You know, getting them to understand you know what the defense wants and and what you want as your coordinator. What are some of the things that you have to get your team ready for each week? Uh, I think the biggest thing is, that's gonna that's gonna get us there is gonna be family. Uh, we have a great family atmosphere here. Our, our older guys bring our young guys along. We have a very talented, rich group of young players, and it's a matter of getting those guys in the fold and making them a part of our family. That's gonna. That's what's gonna lead to our success. No doubt about that. Now, you know, all the players I'm sure are certainly gonna be watching this. If there's one message you want to send to your guys, what would be that message? Play hard, play fast, play physical. That's certainly a good thing. Now, my last question to you, coach, is this. August 31st, yep. under the bright lights here, yep. 7 o'clock against CCNJ, your rivals. How do you feel about that? Oh, we're excited, man. We're excited. We're going to have a lot of fun that night, and uh, it's going to be a great crowd. A lot of our family, friends, uh, fans are going to be here, so we can't wait. Our guys are ready right now. So nobody can wait, but Coach, as always, thank you so much for Thanks. coming out today, and I wish you nothing but the best this season. Thank you again for your time. Really okay. appreciate it. No problem. I'm here with FDU football's offensive coordinator, Jimmy Robinson. Coach, thank you so much for coming on today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming out to practice. Appreciate it. So my first question to you is, how do you think the offense has looked so far throughout practice and throughout the last couple of weeks? Oh, you know, first couple days of camp, we've had our ups, we had our downs. Uh, the guys are playing relentlessly, playing, playing hard, um, you know, but... Luckily, we have another, you know, 15 or so practices to work on it because, you know, we're just trying to get better every practice, every rep, and just make the most of every opportunity we have. That's certainly a big key. Now, my next question to you is, from the offensive standpoint, what are some of the goals that you have for your offensive squad this upcoming season? The goals is, is kind of similar to the same question that or the same answer to the last question, is stay relentless every day, get better every single rep, and, and just make the most of every opportunity. Now, what's going to – now, with your – you know, your players obviously going to get a chance to watch this. What What is one of the big messages you want to give to your players going into this upcoming year? One of the one of the goals uh, and one of the messages is to just fly around, you know, stay relentless, you know, and just do whatever they can to help the unit. You know, we have a lot of guys out here that are selfless, a lot of guys that whatever position they play, they just want to help the team be successful offensively, defense, special teams, uh, you know, so it's a pleasure, you know, working with them and coaching them. And, uh, you know, I just I just love being around them. Absolutely, and my last question to you, Coach, is this. August 31st, under the bright lights here at FDU against TCNJ, how excited are you to have your team get ready to go for the upcoming game? Oh, yeah, su super excited. You know, one of the, my goals every day is to have the players, you know, try to match my energy, my passion and intensity, and, and usually they do and they one-up it. Um, but we're super excited for that day. Uh, but we're more excited for, you know, this practice we're at right now because we just want to, you know, get better today and not look too far ahead to the first game. We just got to make the most of camp right now. No doubt about that. Now, Coach, just before I let you go, when we last spoke, which was about a year ago, you uh, became a father. That was one thing that we, we talked about. And so uh, I heard that it's going to uh, make it one year, about a couple of days. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. this Friday, my daughter Mia's one, one year birthday. Uh, super, super excited, life changing. You know, just blessed and lucky to have her in my life, my, my wife Kristen in my life, mm -hmm. you know, the two of them and, you know, uh, the rest of my family um, and, and her family. You know, that's, that's what life's all about. But, you know, can't wait for, for this Friday for her, her one, one year old birthday. It's certainly going to be a special birthday. Well, Coach, as always, thank you so much for coming on today, and good luck this upcoming season. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, Coach, one last thing before we go. I just want to mention to everybody here, folks at home, that you know, on August 29th at 7 p.m. at Urban Fire in Madison, we're having a live show. We know we have you guys coming down, and I wanted to get your you know, thoughts on it. How, you know, it's, it's exciting that you know, these guys are going to come down you know, some of the players, some of the coaches talk about the upcoming season, kind of like a pep rally type thing and get, you know, the whole community excited for it. Oh, we're very excited. It's the first time that we've ever had anything like this mm -hmm. in, in my eight years. And we're going to have uh, our, our assistant coaches, coordinators for you to uh, to meet and our, our players. And, and uh, you know, hopefully they don't have class at that right. time. We don't know yet. <laughs> 
as, oh, as they're, they're, they're so. finalizing their class schedule, but we're going to get as many uh, many of our, our, our older and, and uh, captains right. and older players, and, and uh, it'll be a great time, so we're very excited for it. Well, we're definitely excited as well. And again, August 29th at Urban Fire in Madison, New Jersey. You know, you got FDU and a few other schools. It's definitely going to be something exciting, you know, to come on and cheer on the FDU football team and everything. It's going to be great. So make sure you want to tune into that and check it out. You don't want to miss it. Well, Coach, as always, I really appreciate you taking out of time of, out of your busy schedule to speak with me. And as always, I wish you guys nothing but the best this upcoming season. And I look forward to seeing you throughout the course of this year and at the Madison Show later on this month. Thank you very much, Neil. We really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to spend the time with us and promote FDU football and everything that you do for us. We can't thank you enough. Of course, my pleasure.